toast to their career. The perfect combination, boy. Hip hop legends in the South. This is sports fans' only home for the hottest sports show around. These guys are on fire. You're now listening to KJ and Sean Mack. Thanks for tuning in, sports fans only. See Anthony back with another video. On deck, Bob Arum, top-ranked boxing promoter, legendary attorney. This weekend, he had some interesting statements he made about the upcoming heavyweight showdown between Tyson Fury and Deontay Bronx Bomber Wilder. They're going to have their trilogy. It's already set for July 24th at the T-Mobile Arena. This is going to be a very interesting fight, highly anticipated. And Fury's going to have his WBC belt on the line. Bob Arum, he, um, he anticipates another knockout victory in this, um, in this third coming fight. He told a group of reporters this weekend after the Shakur Stevenson fight that um, this is a fight he really thinks that um, Deontay Wilder is going to get knocked out much quicker than he did in the last fights. He thinks it'll be just as, um, just as dramatic. Also, he doesn't think that um, we all, first of all, we all know Tyson Fury, 6'9", 270. He floored Deontay Wilder twice in the um, in their rematch, and he got the stoppage victory in that one. And in this trilogy, Aram thinks he's going to get the same result. We all know that Malik Scott is in the corner now of Deontay Wilder. I will say that Malik does have Deontay looking. He does a little, look a little bit more, um, a little bit more refreshed, a little bit more refined. Look like he's taking certain um, technical aspects of his game a little bit more serious. He's um, practicing the jab, slipping the jab, things that a lot of boxers know, but we all know Deontay Wilder got a little bit, he got started a little bit late in his career. So now he's honing in on some of those skills, the technical aspects of his game. Bob Arum doesn't think that the new trainer has time to really... Um, to really focus and get Deontay where he needs to be. He doesn't think that you could change somebody at that age, at this point in their career, especially for a showdown match set with Tyson Fury. I will say if, um, if Wilder can get this victory done, it will be one for the record books because after two, two fights, this will be the trilogy fight. If he can get the victory, it, um, it opened, it's opened up so much more in the heavyweight division. There's, um, you know, this could be, this could bring on the talks of Anthony Joshua and him, but, um, I digress. I don't want to go too far too fast, but this is going to be a very good fight. It's a pay-per-view fight. Also, it's not one of those fights where, you know, everybody can make a prediction on it, but anything can happen that night on, on that night, Deontay can come out and go crazy and catch wreck in the first, second, third round. We never know what version of Fury we're going to get. Fury can come out a little bit, and um, he can come out too motivated, or he can come out a little bit um, underwhelming, trying to let De Deontay set the pace, trying to get the distance, time, and range, and he can get caught. So this is one for the books right here. I will say that Bob Arum, he does. Um, he made a lot of statements about Deontay Wilder that I won't get into, but he's highly confident in Tyson Fury. His company is Cope and in the business of he's co-promotion right now with Tyson Fury. So he does have an invested interest in Tyson Fury making this fight and to get the victory in this fight. So I'll leave it right there for now. It's an um, impactful statement to say that Aram really thinks that Deontay Wilder's exact statement was he would get his ass knocked out much quicker than last time. I'm not on that path right now. I'm, I'm going to remain with my pick. I'm thinking in the longevity of fight, I'm kind of leaning toward Tyson Fury. I think that his um, experience and ring p presence will be able to get the nod versus Deontay Wilder. But still in all, Deontay looks good. He's hungry. He looks to have his mind on on um, focusing the right way. And Malik Scott, shouts out to him. He has brought a lot, of, a lot more depth to Deontay. And Deontay is doing things a little bit different now that I didn't, um, that I hadn't seen in the past. And another statement from Ricky Hatton, who's a big friend of Tyson Fury, he also says, um, he says something I said a couple of video, videos ago that um, that Deontay Wilder is coming for blood. So the UK is recognizing um, that this is going to be a different fight. They're all hoping for a Tyson Fury, but they're keeping him on guard and telling him to stay on high alert and also not to take this guy lightly and get in there and do what he has to do. The longer Deontay Wilder is on his feet in this fight, the more trouble for Deontay Wilder because one punch, we all know, can 
break jaws, stop fights, and end um, boxing matches in dramatic fashion. So I'm going to leave it right there on Bob Barham's statements. You like the content, hit the like button, share, subscribe. And this is coming to you from C. Anthony, Sean Mack, and KJ, sports fans only. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.